The quality pulse culture diagnostic tool is appropriate for all companies in biopharma, in pharma, in regulated consumer products, in devices, and in combination products. Companies that do not have a culture supportive and enabling of quality, they suffer poor health authority outcomes. There is a lack of trust amongst healthcare providers and patients. There are unplanned financial impacts as a result of aggressive remediation or delays in new product launches. These issues exist across companies in the regulated healthcare industry. And as I said, those with good quality culture suffer from those things to a much lesser degree or not at all. Another thing that the companies would benefit for in the industry is as the quality culture reaches toxic levels, you begin to see recalls, you begin to see more recalls, you begin to see shortages and outages, interruptions in supply chain, company reputation suffers, and I've seen in our industry even company stock performance suffer as a result of what the media chronically represents as quality issues in a given company or associated with a given brand in a company. I certainly wouldn't want to name names, but I have several clear examples of those companies in mind, to be honest. <laughs>